In this exercise, we're going to create a new project file. This we're going to do using the default mechanical template from the recent files screen. In this view, I'm going to create a duct run. Click on the duct tool. At the moment, the properties are unimportant. And I'm just going to create a short duct run. Its actual layout for this exercise is unimportant. We have seen in other exercises that we can select objects by using the selection window, the crossing window, but we can also use the tab key on the keyboard. This is especially useful when working on crowded layouts. If I place my cursor over one part of the duct, this highlights the duct. Without selecting, I press the tab key once. This highlights the entire duct length, or the duct network, as shown on the tooltip. I can now left mouse click and select that entire run. To remove elements from this selection, press and hold the shift key and select the elements that you want to remove from the selection, either individually or by using the selection window or the crossing window. I can use the tab key to also select part of a run. To do this, I select one piece of the duct run, hover my cursor over one end and press the tab key, then select. I now have a portion of the duct run selected, which I can then edit as required. The use of the tab key is not restricted to model objects only. It can also be applied to systems and even to annotation objects like detail lines, and we will see its use later on in the DVD.